at the end of the day, it comes to a lot more efficiency, time saving, cost savings. We found business saving a lot of time um, where the bot literally answers. In one case, we had 98% of the, the conversations with the bot was dealing with, wow. uh, as opposed to um, a human um, agent actually having to answer those questions. We've been talking a lot about AI on this program recently, artificial intelligence, but did you know there's a Jamaican company leading the way in this space and innovating for Jamaican companies? I'm Khalila Reynolds, and it's time for another episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's business advisory service, giving you the tools to grow your business. My guest today is Jamie Ranston. He's a director at Shift Interactive. Hi, Jamie. Welcome to Money Moves JA. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> so we've spoken AI on this program before, mm -hmm. but I want to know what makes Shift Interactive different. Wow, Shift Interactive different with AI. Well, we take a more um, integrated and personal approach to it, um, where the business is concerned. Uh, we really look at how a business operates and um, build the AI for that business. So tone of voice, um, features and functions that the AI should be able to, to, to do for the consumer or the customer. It's specifically our own customer service that we, we utilize um, AI for. And then we look at the business's process flows, specifically, you know, end to end, and then try to get the AI to replicate it and take out the human element as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, really, at the end of the day, to make the business more efficient and to free up um, their customer service agents to do more of customer service than just um, dealing with these day-to-day. -day. Answering DMs. Exactly. The same question over, over and, and over, over and again. Over. That's it. That so the it. last time we spoke about this topic, it was with your friend Chris Record. Correct. And he recommended a service called ManyChat. He also mentioned you which is how, why we ended up calling you. Nice. And so we've tried ManyChat in our business, right. but we've kind of been struggling to get it to work properly, like to get it to answer the right questions, questions from the right people. It's artificial intelligence. And unfortunately, artificial intelligence means, you know, somebody has to be behind the scenes to code it, program it, understand what you need, and then, you know, build it for what you need. So it's not something that... I mean, a lot of these platforms, it's, it's like Lego pieces. You go in, you pick the pieces, the modules, you put it together, and you get what they are giving you. Um, and a lot of businesses don't need that. They really need this personal approach and, and insight first to see what is useful for the customer, because not everything works. Not everything works right now. We have clients now that, you know, we, they want to do everything in the channel, and we kind of hold them back and say, you know, just do... Two, mm -hmm. get those things right, and then learn from that, and then you can start to add more features and functions as, as you um, get more experienced with it. Because it's new. And I mean, it's new to the business, it's new to their customers, it's new to their agents, it's just new across the board. And then they start to recognize as they go along that where, where, where they can expand and start to use it, and then they start to think a little better about, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a digital transformation for the business. At the end of the day, it comes to a lot more efficiency, time saving, cost savings. We found business saving a lot of time um, where the bot literally answers. In one case, we had 98% of the, the conversations with the bot was dealing with, wow. uh, as opposed to um, a human um, agent actually having to answer those questions. And then we have some nice little features and functions in there where when an agent, because this is all text chat, so we operate in WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Instagram DM, Viber, Apple Business Chat, um, um, Telegram, I think, I don't know if I said that already, and um, Web Chat. All of these are text typing. Mm -hmm. So if you can imagine now, an agent is no longer on a phone talking, which is efficient in itself. They're now typing out all their answers. So what mm -hmm. we also built into our platform is what something we call chat blocks. And so these are all pre-programmed messages and they're fully multimedia. So you can have, you know, we have businesses that have learning videos, tips and tricks, you know, what to do, what not to do, how to sign up our form, how to apply for X. And um, they just need to point and click. And then the bot takes the message 
customizes it because they know those the customer's details and puts it out. So it, it, it's a semi-automatic um, process as well, mm -hmm. just controlled by um, the, the agent in the system. Now, when Chris told me that there was a Jamaican company doing this, I got excited. So my first question is like, so does your AI understand Patois? It can. It can. It's, um, it's multi-language. I mean, as far as we're concerned, we program it. So as long as we know Patois, we're good, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we have, can it answer in Patois? It can. It certainly can. No, there's no issues with that. Would that sound natural? Well, you have to make it sound natural. It's, it's how you're going to read it because it's all text-based. <clears throat> I mean, we're experimenting with AI video and AI voice mm -hmm. as well. Um, and we'll get there with the pato in, in that context. Uh, we're just trying to get the, the Caribbean accents mm -hmm. right in that space first. But um, yeah, it's there. It's there. I mean, we have channels. We have clients in Panama, and it's all Spanish speaking channels. We have French. Um, you know, so all of those are available. So Pato is just another language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that approach. Yep. Right. So I heard about this fairly new service. I saw it on Trevor Noah and we tried it out recently and we got it to write like an entire pitch. We just told it what to say. Cool. And it was really, really good. Like I couldn't tell that this was AI. It wasn't work. human written, right? It, yes. Right. Yes, yes, so yes. all right. So can your service do something like or do you offer that type of service now too? No, we don't offer that type of service. That's that's more natural processing language. Mm. Um and um very much available across the board. They're they're probably 10 or 15 different services like that have popped up um, across the internet of, in the last year or two. And it's even gone a step further where um, you, can, you can do your whole presentation and have an AI video of a presenter. Just pick the person you want, give them the script. So you type in the script and they'll read it for you and give you the expressions mm -hmm. and everything as a video. I'll have to show you a, a copy of that. That's actually pretty cool and something that we are going to start offering as a service um, in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. which is why I spoke about the, um, the Caribbean voices, mm -hmm. because right now the voices, the AI voices behind it are all international. Mm -hmm. But um, and so we're working with the company now to get our own Caribbean voices. Mm. So so that same script now could replace you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah, nothing can replace you, right? <laughs> we'll see about that. Well, I, it can replace a whole lot of people, yep. I, I swear, yep. um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. People assume it's a bad thing because it's job displacement. But right. I feel like these people will, will evolve into different types of well, jobs as we go along. It expands your business and the potential for your business. This is mm -hmm. where I think um, people are not really understanding what AI can do for you. Yes, it's going to replace jobs, but like in customer service, you know, we say to our, our clients, listen, it's not about replacing your agents. It's about giving your agents more time to mm -hmm. do what they really need to do to make your customer's experience great. Mm -hmm. And you'll find that your agents do a lot of this punching buttons and, and, you know, admin work for most of their day. So, you know, like replacing you, maybe it's not replacing you. And by the way, you can actually in this system get your own avatar. So of yourself, and what they do is they take a certain amount of footage of you and then have their system process it. And then you can have yourself read the script mm -hmm. in your voice. And so you could do 10 of these shows in one day. I was just thinking if I could get the system to even just write my scripts, that would save me a bunch of time. See there? And now, so now even though you're quote unquote replaced, now mm -hmm. you're just doing more, more business. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. Because then I can do more videos. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So tell me what is the suite of services that you offer right now? Wow, quite a bit, but um, we're really focusing right now on customer service via messenger services. So um, connecting any business um, with customers through any of the, the messenger service channels, including live chat on your website, um, is our primary focus. But we also do price promotion platform. So you can enter via WhatsApp. Um, I don't know if you've seen a lot of these promotions out there where you, know, you have to buy a, a product take a, a picture of the receipt uh, or you write on the back of the label and then deposit in the Dropbox. Mm -hmm. We kind of replace all of that. And so you just need to take a picture of the receipt in WhatsApp, send it, that's it, you're entered into the system. And then we do all the prize drawing behind the scenes and tracking and verifications. That's been running fairly well as, as well. And, um, and then we do what we call a trade audit, intelligent, intelligent trade audit, auditing. And um, we have a number of companies out there that 
um, in the field, they have to collect data about around their products. So distributors, you know, like Grace Foods or Lasco or, or, or Wisinko have their products in the field and um, need to collect data like um, expiry dates, you know, expired products, near expired products. Um, how does the branding look? Uh, we have things like where they, where's their equipment? I mean, they have these coolers all over the island. And, and it's funny enough, they get lost mm -hmm. or they get misplaced. And, and so they have auditors or their merchandisers out in the field. And we give each one of those merchandisers through WhatsApp the ability to collect data in, their, in the WhatsApp channel right directly into a back-end system that gives the business a live, a live report on exactly what's going on in, in, in their different customer um, spaces and places. Right. So, Jamie, what are some other familiar names that you've worked with? Ah, quite a few and um, some very interesting ones. Our first client was actually ICWI, strange enough. Uh, they're actually very progressive as an insurance um, company. And um, we worked with them and built their bot, um, which is called Angel. Um, and um, other companies that we've worked with, Sagicor. Interested in, not yet in Jamaica, but Sagicor in Barbados, Trinidad, uh, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Panama, mm -hmm. and they have their bot. Uh, Sia? Sia. I heard of it. I saw it in the paper. Yes. You did that. Yes, nice. we worked with them and we built their bot, Sia. Um, so you can interact. Even if you're, um, even if they don't, haven't launched in Jamaica as yet, um, you can still go to their channel and experience it. Um, you'll probably be deflected, but <laughs> that's part of the, the, the service and how it works. Um, we also work with Wisinko. Um, they have their internal bot, which they use for their distribution and, and their, their um, staffing, um, which, which is very interesting as well. Not named as yet. Um, we just launched um, Hyundai, Jamaica, with Hyundai, their bot. Mm. Um, Key Insurance, Keezy, their bot. <laughs> Um, general what should I call my bot? Mm. Mm, yes, right, right, right. Mm. Um, my uh, bot needs a name too. <laughs> That's very interesting how they how, how some of them have come up with their with their names. Um, we're soon to launch GK Insurance. Um, I believe they're going to call their bot um, Fiona or Grace. I think they're still in the deciding mm. phases of that. And um, uh, General Accident is also another. They just they just came on board this year as well. So you're the go-to guy. At the moment, we believe we're the only ones in the Caribbean that actually do this. So, so I mean, I'm, I'm sure we're not going to be the, the only ones, but we started in 2019 before um, WhatsApp actually launched their business um, API. And um, funny enough, we, had, we were partnered up with a company in Germany, testing it out and trying to get, um, get into WhatsApp's system. Um, we found a way and then... Um, Interestingly, they WhatsApp allowed it mm -hmm. and let us experiment. So very cool. So we were there before it all it all came to to, to what it is now. Very cool. Yeah. Right. So I'm listening to all of this and I'm almost sold. I'm just thinking, can I afford this? Like, do you have oh. packages for SMEs? Yes, we do. We do. We do. Um, we haven't got it down to where we would like it to be. Our website, shiftinteractive.com, displays all all our plans. Um, but we have a starter plan that starts at 275 US a month. And it comes with your bot, it comes with an, your agent seat. We, we charge by agent seats. Um, so that's a license for an agent to go into the platform and, and actually manage customers. Mm. And then we also charge by what we call um, MAUs, monthly active users. So how many customers or how many users come into your channel and, and, and communicate with you on a month-to-month -month basis. And um, at 275, it, it, it can easily cover a small business um, very easily. The good part about it is that all your data is archived. It is what we call GDPR compliant. So the, the, the same policies that, that, um, that the EU have for data and privacy protection is, is our platform um, complies to them. And the opportunity to scale is there. So you can jump up and down our plans easily. So add more agents, add more channels, add more MAUs, and easily um, manage your customer service. Of course, everything comes with a bot. Mm -hmm. And your bot is programmed by us. We charge no implementation or, or servicing fees for that. We work with you in the beginning, script your bot for you, tone of voice, etc and then place it out there. And then month to month, we give you 
um, time where you can come back to us and we can further develop. It's always agile. We always find that there's going to be something more you want to add, change or update. And then for the most part, we give you a backend platform that you manage everything yourself. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's worthwhile. And we've seen a lot of businesses benefit from it up to this point in time and expect it to grow and become even more in, used by, by the world out there. Because, and, and I don't know if you know, Meta is, is, has kind of, as of this year, they just started their conversational uh, messaging approach to their business. And so their whole idea and how they intend on making and continuing to, to generate revenue is through their messaging platform, WhatsApp mm. and, Messen and, and Facebook Messenger. So they want to monetize it and they want businesses to use it. Mm. And so we are the enterprise level of that. We use what is called WhatsApp Business API. Mm -hmm. and, um, and through that, it's a developer's environment. They have allowed us to build out our environment and, and connect to them. And of course, we connect to all the other platforms as well. Oh, well, we should talk. Yes, definitely. I, I would <laughs> Thank love you so to much, Jamie. Thank you so and much for having me. And how can people contact you? Um, well, the website is there, shiftinteractive.com. Um, so all our contact details are there, and um, including my email and, and phone numbers are all on the website as well, including WhatsApp. <laughs> awesome. Thank you again. All right. Thank you very much. Here's a recap of Jamie's key points. Shift Interactive looks at how businesses operate and build their AI to match the company's needs. They cater to messaging services such as WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Instagram DMs, Fiverr, Apple Business Chat, Telegram, and Web Chat. The understanding of multiple languages is a built-in feature. Therefore, AI recognizes Jamaican dialect such as Patois. That's it for this episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service, giving you the tools to grow your business. Visit their website at eximbankja.com. And of course, you can get a summary of this episode on my website, kalilareynolds.com. See you next time.